Thank you for watching this video, Solar PV Calculations. I'll review some of the calculations used to size solar PV systems. You also can take a look at uh, how to size a solar PV system for your home. I'm setting up these videos in a very simple fashion. We're not getting real in-depth here um, with all the whys. Um, we're just doing... Um, some calculations, some simple ones, so that you can get a real good idea on how to size the solar system. In, uh, in this example, we're going to take a look at series and parallel circuits in particular. So here's some terms you're going to want to brush up on. At the end of this video, I'll give you a few references that I think will be very helpful to you, not only for solar PV, but there's a couple of books just great for electrical theory stuff, if you like to putz around with that, as they say. So, at any rate, so power is, equals watts. Watts is denoted by a capital W. Current equals amps. You'll see amps written one of two ways, usually in a manufacturer's label, like a television or a DVD player or what have you. You'll see it denoted as an A. Uh, in electrical theory, you'll use, usually see it denoted as an I when you're doing calculations. Uh, resistance, which is an R, that's measured in ohms. Volts is, is just that, volts, uh, with a capital V. Or you'll also see it with an E in calculations. So uh, the meat and potatoes are the ones you're going to use all the time are going to be power equals volts times amps. So we'll go P equals V times I. Amps equals power divided by volts. That equals I equals P over V. Volts equals power divided by amps, which is equals V equals P divided by I. Now you're probably seeing uh, some repetition there, how we're just moving the letters around. I'll leave that up to you, but we're just doing some basic algebra here. So if you start with your P equals V times I, just do some division and such and some multiplication. Uh, you can do all of these calculations. They're very easy. And last but not least, resistance equals volts divided by amps, which equals R equals V divided by I. Um, I can show you something about that. It's called Vera later on. Uh, but that's basically, you can manipulate these letters in any way, shape, and form using basic algebra and come up with any of the answers that you need. So continuing with some uh, basic electrical theory here, series circuits, the voltage increases and the current stays the same. And in parallel circuits, the voltage stays the same and the current increases. The, these are two very similar, uh, or two, two, yes, two very similar things, two, two different circuits you're gonna be running a, a lot in solar in particular. It's got to do with uh, currents and sizing your uh, string inverter and such if you're using a string inverter, but we're not going to get into that here, but um, you're going to want to brush up on that series circuits and parallel circuits because that, that's the most basic definition I can give you right there. So just to give you a real simplified example, if you had three batteries and they each only had one volt each, you'd be looking at three volts because in series circuits, the voltage adds up. But in a series circuit, the current stays the same. So those same three batteries, if they're one amp each, one amp plus one amp plus one amp, it only equals one amp in a series circuit regarding current. In a parallel circuit, one volt plus one volt plus one volt equals one volt. In a parallel circuit, one amp plus one amp plus one amp equals three amps. So as you can tell, uh, the voltage increases and the current stays the same in a series circuit. In the parallel circuit, the voltage stays the same and the current increases. Here's a real fundamental drawing I did. Everything I do is fundamental. You'll see I use that term a lot, but I just like to keep it simple. Um, this illustrates uh, that in a series circuit, the voltage increases, but the current stays the same. I've gone ahead and wired up uh, those three batteries up top. They could be three solar panels, I guess. We could pretend. Uh, that's a very common configuration, and also down at the bottom here. Uh, in a parallel circuit, the voltage stays the same and the current increases. 
So I'm going to give you a basic idea of what that looks like as well. As you can tell, I'm driving something home here, aren't I? Get it drilled into your head here, folks. Series versus parallel circuits. Here's some simple math. A solar panel is a 310 watt rating and a current rating of 8 amps. What is the voltage? Well, here we go again with our algebra. P equals V times I. They're giving us the power in watts, which is 310. That equals V times 8 amps. We're going to divide 8 amps on each side. 310 watts divided by 8 amps equals the volts. 310 divided by 8 equals 38.74 volts. Here's another example. If the solar panel is an 8 amp rating with a 12 volt output, what's the power in watts? Well, P equals V times A. So in this case, power equals 8 amps times 12 volts. P equals 96 volt amps. Since volt times amps equals watts, we can bring that down even more. So P equals 96 watts. I'm just throwing some numbers together here, folks. Uh, I haven't done any research to see if there's anything with a rating like this. Here's some definitions of terms that are on the back of the spec sheet. Uh, we're going to take a look at a spec sheet for, I believe it's an Axitec 310, 310 watt solar panel, which is denoted down, it's the very last column, you'll see 310 uh, WP, and then you'll see a box in red and a box in black. Now, do we use the red box or the blue or the black box to determine the power output? Well, we won't get into the whys once again, but we want, in this case, we want to work with the nominal voltage uh, and the uh, current. So um, the VMPP and the IMPP is what they're, they're showing us here. We'll, this is a different deal, the short circuit voltage and the short circuit current. Uh, the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current, that's for another day. But please uh, take a look at the 37.02 volts and the 8.39 amps on the very bottom line. So if voltage maximum power point equals VMPP and the current maximum power point equals IMPP, the current short circuit equals ISC and the voltage open circuit equals VOC. Uh, the solar panel provides the voltage and the sun provides the current. In this case, we're going to focus on the, the red box once again and do the math to prove the numbers are correct. P equals V times I. So PMPP equals VMPP times IMPP. So we have 310 equals 37.02 times 8.39. 310 W equals 310.5978 VA, volt amps. As we talked about earlier, volts times amps is watts, so volt amps is the same as watts. So, wow, it checks. It's like magic. It's about 310 watts on each side, so it checks. Now let's put everything together in a simple example. We want to install six solar panels, a.k.a. PV modules, in a series, in series on a home, we look on the spec sheet and see that the ratings are 310 watts, 37.02 volts, and 8.39 amps. What's the power output if it's wired in series? The previous one was series. This one's for parallel. We're going to use the same figures. <coughs> Excuse me. But we're going to go ahead and uh, use the solar wire the solar panels in parallel. So we're going to take 37.02, multiply that times the uh, output of 8.39 amps times six solar panels. So remember, in a series circuit or a parallel circuit, the voltage stays the same. <laughs> the current increases, I'm driving that home again. So we're looking at 50.34 amps total for the six solar panels times 37.02 volts. We're back there again, 1.86 kW, 1.86 kilowatts. That's the same as the series circuit. Yes, it is. This was just a very simple exercise to show you how the current and voltage change in a series versus a parallel circuit. Um, later on, we'll get into a video on truly system sizing using a string inverter and why um, we need to wire things in parallel or series or parallel and series.